Hey guys, Michael here from MichaelSherlock.com. In, in another video with the Samsung Epic 4G, I just want to show you internet tethering. Now for a lot of people on Sprint, they may be familiar with the internet tethering application. But because internet tethering is so imperative to a lot of business users out there, and a lot of people are interested in this device and may not have been on Sprint's network before, I think it's important just to show you how easy tethering is with the Sprint Hotspot application. So you can be connected to 3G or 4G for this to work. And it says share your phone Sprint Mobile Hotspot with other Wi-Fi enabled devices. <clears throat> After you start the Mobile Hotspot Wi-Fi router, connect, etc, etc. So you just go up here and you just click to enable it. It says activating Sprint Hotspot. And again, 4G or 3G. This is 3G right now because I'm in a, in a building. So then it gives you instructions on how to do it. Make sure Wi-Fi is enabled find this, that's your SSID, and then it gives you the password for the WPA connection, WPA encryption, I mean. So, uh, while this is running, we're just going to put this to the side for a second. You know it's still running, just so you know. Just bring in another device here, Wi-Fi enabled device, that we can connect to. This ha just happens to be an iPad, but you could use anything. So we're just going to go into settings, and Wi-Fi. And again, if we go back to the Epic, this is our connection. And then our password is all numbers. It is 913-687-2689. Join. So I should have entered that correctly. <clears throat> and as you can see, we are connected to it. So let's just go ahead and uh, test something out. Let's go ahead and open up Safari here. And I just wanted to make sure there was no passwords or anything on that page. And let's just say we wanted to hit up YouTube. And I, of course, type faster than that, but I'm just on a weird angle uh, due to the camera. So it'll load here. <clears throat> and if we wanted to watch a video... Again, this is all over Sprint 3G. So it would be faster over my home Wi-Fi or over um, 4G as well. But we can go ahead and play the video. And it will load in a second. And just to show you that we're still connected to the hotspot, you can see here that this is the hotspot app. And what's really cool about this, while we're waiting for it to load, it still runs in the background, of course. So, you just slide, and you're good to go. And then if you wanted to go back, that was just demoing that you could do whatever you wanted to do. Um, and for some reason this is taking a really long time to load. So I don't know, but um, when you're done, there we go. And the volume is just off because I don't have the volume on by default. So, we're done with that. Once you're done, you just click that. Deactivating the hotspot will disconnect linked devices. So to save battery life when you're not using it, you just deactivate it. Now it's deactivated, and as you can see, it's not lit up anymore. So just put that to the side. Then if we look on the iPad here, it still says we're connected to Wi-Fi, uh, but I doubt it. Because, actually, we are connected to Wi-Fi, but we're connected back to my home network, uh, the Fios network. So, again, if we went back here, everything would load much quicker now. Just to show you that there's nothing wrong and that stuff will load. So, that is internet tethering, a uh, little MiFi action on the Sprint Epic 4G. Thanks for watching this video. If you have questions, you can leave them in the comments below. I'm Michael Sherlock. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.